How you feeling, Carl? Now coming off to France. Awesome. Dreams are made of. To our vlog, uh, I'm Dyer um, and I'm Hales, and you join us on John Key 8 or John Cherry. John Cherry, I think they call it. It is Sunday afternoon, just gone midday. Um, obviously, day two, we had a real manic first 24 hours, so haven't even had the chance to get a camera out. I uh, don't know where to start, I guess we start the beginning we left Lost off Friday morning at seven no five thirty out that weren't it? Yeah. Arrived. A little run down to Dover, stopped what Colchester Brecky, quick McDonald's, uh we might be getting to Dover about half nine. Yeah. About an hour to get through customs. Yeah around about that weren't it our ferry was at eleven twenty five. Yeah. And um, through customs no checks, didn't get our bait. I think luckily, obviously, people on this lake already haven't bought bait because they're too worried, but we bought it, got through. Okay, fish jump. Fish right next jumps to us. right next to us. Probably a cat again. Yeah, been watching <laughs> them this morning. Um, yeah, so got on the ferry, pretty smooth journey in, had a beer on the ferry, got into France before two. Yeah, two French time. Yeah. Um, off the ferry, straight onto the motorway, 260 kilometres to Reims, where we stopped, went in the supermarket, grabbed some beers, some rum, some snacks, Burger King next door, so we had some dinner in there. there, then we back in the car another hour to the hotel. To the hotel we stayed at. Yeah, and then yeah, a few beers there that night. Made some rigs ready for Saturday. Um, Chilled yeah. out even, nice hotel, little farm. Yeah, middle of nowhere, it was really nice, peaceful. Maybe try and put it in description or something what hotel we stayed in, in yeah. case any of you want to know. It's 30 minutes from the lake. Yeah, um, got up, what, half eight ish? Sort of no, got to wait for that. Wait before then, wasn't it? Half seven. Half seven, that's it. Yeah. Got up, showered, got sorted up some brekkie. Breakfast was at the hotel, yeah, weren't it? That was yeah. all in. Left hotel, half nine. Half nine. Stopped at Audi again, done. Bigger shop this time, grabbed a lot of beers, juices, um, water, ice, food, water, ice, yeah, for lunch. food, snacks mainly because we've got food included got, at the lake. Got the food package here. Yeah. yeah, that's 165 euros. Yeah. Um, lasagna, chips, and garlic bread last night. Yeah. Bacon, tomato and egg baguettes, a pan of chocolate for breakfast this morning, nice yeah. size baguette. Yeah, I highly yeah. recommend the food so far, roast dinner today. Yeah, put the roast lamb, lovely yeah. jubbly. So we've done all that, quick stop at patisserie, didn't we grab some cakes? Yeah. Bloody good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, arrived at the lake half eleven, 30 minutes before we meant to, but bailiff and that was about, it was absolutely sound, took us into the office. Gave us all the info we needed, very helpful. Um, yeah, paid up for the food, drove around, got to the swim midday -ish. Yeah, probably around 12. Had a walk around, checked all the, all the little spots and that. Uh, get back, set up, start sorting the rods out. 
um, what was it we obviously three rods each, one bait boat between us, um, took our time, yeah, getting time. the rods out, working as a team, um, putting them to the far bank of where let's start with you, where do you put yours? So my first one went out just in this corner here. Bailiff was to the left of the swing. Yeah, Bailiff said it was pretty much void of any life in this corner, but when we turned up we had two I had two shows right down there, so I put a rod there. That actually had a bite fairly quickly, didn't it? But yeah. missed that wasn't didn't turn into anything. Um, the second rod went in the corner. Far margin. And then my third rod was in the middle of the far margin on my side of the water. That's where they all were in. Yeah, and I went, that's a tree, three quarters of the way up the right hand side bank. I put one rod in there, one in the corner, and then my left rod almost in the middle of the bank underneath the tree. Um, all rods out, ten past three, remember looking at the time. Um, then thought we start getting organised. I am um, half three left hand rod, the last out of the six to go out. A few beeps, bomb dropped back, struck into it. Um, first fish on. That was I will just grab the notes two seconds. That was a thirty five pound eight common. Um happy with that first fish. Didn't expect to fish so soon. Bailiff said last week, four fish out? Four fish out for the week. For the yeah. whole week. Um, so, so we thought we might have been in with a bit of a tough one to start. Yeah. But yeah, that so didn't pan out. No, very good start. Well, that, that's half three. Um, got that back out. Four o'clock. My, then my right hand rod went off mid playing that. And then you had an occurrence on one of your rods while yeah. I was playing that. Yeah, mine went. Uh, my middle rod, the one that was in the corner, and that went. So, and so yeah, double take, playing them together. Um, mine was a thirty-seven pound common. I had a thirty-four ten mirror. Yeah, so net both them. Um, Got everything organised, got my fish out first for the photos, got it up, weighed it, obviously 37 pound common, was in the sling, about to take the first photo, and then my left hand rod went again. <laughs> um, so obviously Dyer had just done up the retainer, slipped that back into the lake, played that fish, got that one in, 32 pound mirror. Um, just couldn't believe it, three fish in 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 minutes to an hour. Manic. Yeah, absolute manic. Um, so yeah, got that in. We then done a photo of yours in the net, and then the photo of the one odd netted, and then got the one out of the retainer, and done the photos of them, got all them back safely. Um, must have been approaching five o'clock now. Dinner was at six, it was crazy. We had. Nothing to out. Yeah, no, nothing Didn't else. Think. Not a single nothing. thing. Half a gazebo. Half a gazebo, yeah. Yeah, we're in the process <laughs> of putting that one out, all went mental. Yeah. Um, um, so we thought we're not going to put the rods back out because dinner was at six. So we got our bivvies up super quick, didn't we? Yeah, got them up so they were at least ready to put yeah, a bit of Nothing in them, just got them up. Didn't we? And then yeah. we shot up together, grabbed the food. Yeah, went and some ice and ice blocks in the freezer we got there. Yeah, freshened up. Washed face, hands, and all that, and um, bought food back. You can either eat up at the lodge, tables, and all that outside, or you can bring it back down here. She gives you a bag, plated up food, cotton, all cotton and tin foil, yeah. cutlery, sauce, everything you need. Yeah, look after the bag. Yeah, That's good. Yes, yeah, so we got back eight, didn't we? And then we had obviously had to get all six rods back out again. Yeah, we've done all that. Eight o'clock, had them all out. Yeah, round right about then. Um, 10 minutes after that. Yeah, how long was it? No, my left hand rod again, so my third run on that. Again, got it in, lovely sibling, yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Fish, that one went £35.12. 
got some lovely photos. The sun was then starting to go down. The photos were lovely. We will obviously show these in a minute. Um, got that one back. Min minutes later. <laughs> My middle rod went first run on that. Um, happened to be the biggest of the trips so far. So far yeah. That was £42.12 mirror. Um, it's got that out, got the photos, got the rods back out just before dark and then we probably had 15-20 minutes to get the bivvies done, everything in them, yeah, get everything tidied up, get everything we didn't need back in the fan, rod holders and all that. Um, sat down under the sebo, yeah. river beer, what's a bit of the footy? What's a bit of the footy? 9.40. Yeah, right yeah. up to 9.40, so 9 hours 40 minutes to get yeah. sorted. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're not complaining. No, we're not complaining about that. No, but weren't yeah. expecting it. Weren't expecting that. Nice. We always said it would be great to have a good start. Yeah, that's what you want, isn't it? You yeah. Know, you, you yeah. don't expect it. No, you don't expect it. Like that. Um, that hour when we had the double take and then the fish straight after, all thirties. Yeah, you can't. can't you can't want that. that. No. no. So yeah, we've chilled out, weren't we? We've chilled out, watched a bit of footy, a few beers, had a couple of rums, some Captain Hopkins. Okay. Good old Aldi. Yeah, I bought that from Aldi over here. Um, 10 euros for a bottle. Probably says it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Drinkable. Yeah. And um, job, we didn't overdo it. We had a few, didn't we? Quite knackered. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, day. about to call it a night, about half 11. Yeah. My rod that I had near the sluice on the left hand bank, that were ripped off. Uh, that was fun playing that. You thought it was a carp to start with, to be fair. Yeah, I thought it was a carp. Um, yeah. And then it started fighting a little bit more aggressively. We thought, oh, here we go, it's got a cat. And then it took out Your rod one first. of my rods. Yeah. And then it went round the right and then took out yeah, all three. It was quite close in at this point. Well, yeah. Nothing we could do about it. Yeah, could, could tell it wasn't overly big, but it yeah, was fighting Nothing we could do, huge. just went underneath all three of my rods. Yeah, wiped them all, them them all up. Just a single beep. Slacked off the line, bottom was up, slacked off the line, bottom stayed up, slacked off the line, bottom stayed up, struck into it, nothing. Nothing there. So that's happened multiple times like that where we're just getting single beats because we're fishing far bank, back leads, slacking off the line, bottom is staying up, striking into it and we're having a fish. But unfortunately not this time. No. Reset it, it we go up. again. Sums up today really, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Go again. Yeah. Redo it. Yep. It's all we can do, mate. Yeah. Fresh rig on, fresh bait. Get the bait boat out. So here we see Mr. Hales playing something rather large. Pretty certain it's a carp. Yeah, don't think it's a carp. Been on for five minutes and the order size. That. <laughs> Literally, we've had since we spoke to you last, we've had nothing, no signs of anything, and uh, yeah, it's the first moment something's happened. Half four, Sunday. Might have one of the big cats in here. Oh. <laughs> Not what you want in 30 plus degree heat. Not what I want. <laughs> yeah. So Carl, thought we were gonna get you had a big cat on, what you got? Uh, just under 45 pound. No, I don't even know what the big ones are fighting like with fights like that. I'm not going to get them up. Horrible, dirty creature. <laughs> Good fight, but please, I don't want any more. No. I do not want any more. Right. No, we've both had one, that'll do. Yeah, let's get him back. All right, nice one. Yeah. All right, evening, everyone. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement. Yeah. Um, not much to report. You saw that cat earlier, 45 pound. I've had two little cats since. Struggle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we um, we moved a few rods tonight into different spots, didn't we? Yeah, repositioned, we're all ready, all set. We've got all six rods on the far bank tonight. Um, got them really nicely under the trees. Very happy with where they all are. I did have one out for 15 minutes and then I had one of them little cats. Yeah. Like, little cats. Proper little kitten. Yeah. Um, been slow on the whole complex, isn't it? Yeah, not much happening today. Obviously been really hot. I haven't been down, I haven't been feeding, seen a few cruising, haven't we? But yeah. other than that, not many sightings, so hopefully the uh, temperature's now dropping and we're all set, ready to rock, and we'll get something tonight. Yeah, so I thought we'd chill out and have a drink. Yeah. Yeah. We obviously had that rum last night that we got from Audi. Um, Captain Hopkins. Captain Hopkins, <laughs> very <laughs> average. Yeah, not the greatest, so hopefully the uh, bottle of rum will have tonight. Not the whole bottle of rum I had, but I'll have a drink tonight, it will uh, be slightly better. We both bought a random bottle over from the UK with us. Didn't tell each other what we were buying, just said we'd buy a random bottle of rum. So Dyer's going to get his out now. So this is called the Bush Rum. Uh, supposed to be very good. Uh, it was an award winning one, I think, year 2022, 21 or something. But best rum in Britain, so hopefully tonight's drink won't be as bad as uh, Captain Hopkins. <laughs> so let's crack this crack open. It open. Unfortunately, the ice is all melted in the cool box. Christ, and if I can get into it. Thank you, <laughs> my glamorous assistant. <clears throat> I've cut this bit out. <laughs> yeah, makes it more interesting. Oh, yeah. right. that's off. Cork stopper. Smell all right. It does. It smells strong. Traditional with a heady blend. All right. I'm gonna try it neat. A little, bit. a little bit. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Cheers. Smooth, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. A little kick to it. Not bad. Mm. Let's try one with Coke. Better than the uh, Captain Hopkins. Yeah. So, what would you rate this rum out of 10? Rate my rum. So, all right. So, what are we going to say with the Hopkins? What do we reckon that is? What do you give that as a benchmark? Well, I put, a stand. I'd say if the standard rum's back in the UK, what you got? Morgan's, Kraken, what you'd normally get in the bar. Yeah. Like, if you give them a solid six. Six has <laughs> got to be a standard, isn't it? Standard yeah. six. <laughs> Probably give the Hopkins a three. Yeah, I won't give it much over that. No. Drinkable, will not Yeah. Wet. Alcoholic. You can drink these quite easy. Yeah. I'm gonna, not going to lie though, it's not as good as I was thinking it was going to be. No? No. I quite like it. It's nice. That might be because we were on the Hopkins last night. Yeah. And we've drunk a lot of beer today. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's quite refreshing. 
give it an eight. Because I've definitely drunk better rums than that. Yeah. I think you'd probably be right. I've definitely had a nicer. Yeah. I think that's fair. I'll start a few tonight. Yeah, well, yeah. That might change. I might then go up to a nine. Yeah. So, if we get any more fish, then we will see you then. If not, we'll see you in the morning. Yeah. I know we're going to have some cats overnight. It seems like they've just turned on since last night and today. Yeah, fingers crossed we don't. But we're not here for cats. I don't want to catch any more catfish. I know the average report from here is like two a week. We've had four now. Four and, and lost the two. Yeah. What? It's not less than 24 hours. Yeah, basically. So hopefully that's our fair share and uh, the cart from we'll here on in. heads down again. Yeah. Just, there's still a few cruising on top. You can see one over yeah. the far bank mm -hmm. now. But they've got to get their heads down. So shallow water is about four foot deep yeah. on average almost everywhere. There's no real features other than all that overhanging trees, which is where the fish get caught all the time. Yeah. And a few bits down the side here and there. So yeah, fairly confident. Yeah. Not just hard. I mean, our rods couldn't I don't think we could have really set them any better. No, it took our time. Yeah. Got them in the right spot. Yeah, had a good walk around the lake before we put all six rods out tonight, didn't we? That's a catfish jumping again. <laughs> yeah, had a good walk around all the far margin tonight, just looking in everywhere, trying to pick different spots to try. So, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Peace. So we've got fish in the net, on the sling. Monday morning. Monday or Sunday? Monday. 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 Yeah, I just asked the gentleman the same question. <laughs> Monday morning, epic fight. Probably the best fighting carp I've had so far. Not overly massive. Let's get out and find out. got? Um, just 27 and a half. Oh. 27 and a half. Time to get beaten up. Seven and a half. Trying to create hard fighting mirror cup. Happy days. Get some quick photos and we'll get her back. So finally got a cup on the bank to you guys. Um, 26 pound four ounce. Lovely looking mirror cup. Let's get her up, you can see. Yeah, lovely looking fish. Well, it's been a long time coming, over 24 hours since the last carp. No, actually we had the one this morning. Yeah, we? last proper carp. carp. Yeah. Um, yeah, £26.4. <laughs> Happy with that. Hopefully, sign of things to come. Yeah. Right ahead. All right, let's get her back. Beautiful. Nice one, bud. Yeah, that's our bait boat, that 
died in the early hours of the morning in the middle of a lake. It's now coming up to 10. And we are trying to retrieve it. Yeah. Maybe using that and just try and get it towards you. Lovely old job. Good work, mate. Boat retrieved. Charge fish again. We record it. <laughs> Good job we're recording, Di. <laughs> There's a little blooper. Quick update, um, Monday afternoon now, coming up to two-ish. Um, since we last sat down, what, yesterday, had that 45 pound cat that you would have seen. And then after that we both had some small cats. Lots of little ones, didn't we? Like yeah. Little one, two pounders. Yeah, I think we had four of them. Um, fairly quiet evening, Just sat down, watched Staff had a few drinks. It was at midnight last night. I had that 26 pound four mirror that you would have seen. Got some footage of that, didn't we? Yeah. And then four o'clock in the morning, I also had 15 pound common. Didn't get any footage of that. Unhooked it in the net, put it straight back. Um, slept in this morning, didn't we? Yeah, I just had a bit of a sleep. Got what, half eight ish? Yeah, needed. Yeah, last night actually, when we had that common and was putting bait back out, um, got the bait out, got the boat on the way back, and it decided to die on us in the middle of the lake. Yeah. So there was nothing we could do. Yeah. Battery showing fifty percent, but it wasn't. But it looked like it was drifting towards us, so we went back to bed. Woke up, but it was getting towards the far bank. Then. Finally managed to get it back about 10 o'clock this morning, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, drifted over to a little gap, got the waders on and just went in and grabbed it with the landing net, didn't we? Got it back. Yeah, I have got some footage of that, so you'll probably see that as well. Yeah, batteries are all char batteries charging up for that now. Yeah, batteries on charge, so we haven't been able to put our rods where we've been catching the fish from. No. So we've just been casting out today and I've got one towards the corner, I haven't fished there yet. I've got one about 16, 17 wraps along the bank. And then we've both put a rod out to the centre of the lake and baited a large area along there. And then where will you put yours? Uh, one, I've got one over at the sluice. We had the cat from the other night. A um, little bit over there, I had a little lead about and that's the only deep part over there. It's all pretty much two feet all around that margin where it drops down to about three, three and a half foot around there, so put one on there. And then my second rod is angled at the far corner where I've been fishing, but what was that, about 19 wraps out. Uh, just a spread of boilies over both of them. Yeah. Yeah, our plan is to leave them 
till four-ish. Be nice if we can just nick around and fish. I'm gonna go get the boat battery about four. Put our rods where we want them. Yeah, back on the spot. Got a quick SD card change there. Yeah. Can't remember where we got to. Um, boat, well, mainly, yeah. weren't it? Said we were gonna yeah, do that four, put it on charge again, redo it again, not long before dark. And yeah, cries, had a bit of a problem with cries. Not on my go-to spot though, I've had most of my runs, what have I had now? Eight carp, three cats, and one, two, three, four, five, I think six of them on the one spot. We'll show you the spots later. We'll show you the swim and lake more shortly. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's better, isn't it? Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Not too much to report. Chill out for a bit. Try to anyway, it's a little bit too hot. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just no getting away from it. No. Yeah. Yeah. Get some rigs ready for later. Yeah, we yeah, both need to tie some new rigs. And we'll show you what rigs we've been catching on as well at some point. The baits. Right guys, we just thought we'd um, show you around the swim and the lake and everything now the sun's gone down and we can finally move. And um, give you an update about everything else later. So this is Dyer's left side of the lake. So he's been up in the left corner, um, around there. He's got one around this gap and then just on this last tree it's an over, no, a little gap in the bushes. It's got one in there. So it's about 30 wraps to the far bank. And this is the right side. My hot rod, there is a big gap here in the trees and then right there there's a gap in underneath the trees that's done me five or six bites up towards the corner here anywhere in that vicinity a rod length or two I've been fish cruising all week and then we have got a tree along this bank I can't quite make it out on the camera where is it there. About a rod length off that, it's done as a couple of bites. Here's set up for the week. It's my house, it's a social area. Dyer's house. Casebo would seem like a good idea with the sun, but. <laughs> it hasn't really worked out like that, has it? No, it protects you a little bit, but not as much, because it just comes through the side. So get a casebo with sides on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Schoolboy out. We got a little bait station with all our hook baits. Rig stuff all down there. Chairs. Very important part of any trip to fun. <laughs> Beers and soft drinks and everything else, water. And then Tripod, obviously cradle, stand for a night light, and then in the back of the fan, <laughs> boilies and part go in there somewhere. And yep, it's good to be able to finally walk around to swim out of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> One last look at it. Nice so Johnicky 7's just next door over that way. And then the main lake, I think it's a stock pond next door yeah, to this. Stock pond and then, yeah, the main, main lake beyond that. And a live take would be nice. Oh, and another cat. Oh, 
what my two boys at home gave me to bring us good luck. Jackson Ollie. Right guys, Monday early hours of the morning. <sighs> Rod's just torn off. New spot tonight, just a show and fish. Biggest of the trip so far, 45 and a half pound. We'll try and get her up, but it's a lively one. Yeah, nice. Lovely common. Yeah. Lovely old job. We'll get some quick photos and we get her back. But it's good to get a bigger one on the bank again. For the old job. Mwah. Thank you very much. Literally just slipped back that 45 pound con. Now diet is in. Oh yeah, got a busy night ahead, fingers crossed. So many stars in the bloody sky. Right, we come back to you once we've netted this. Right. Um, we started uh, rod sharing as my side was pretty much devoid of any sort of carp other than any small catfish. So um, thanks to Carl, uh, we started rod sharing. And about, I just had my second 30 of the trip. There she is, another nice comment. Oh, made up. 34.2. 34.2, yeah. It's, uh, Lift up the tail. It's there been a go. hard couple of days with, for me. Uh, yeah, other than the first day, first fish I had. I've just been catching loads of small little cats here and there. So, uh, I'm absolutely buzzing to be back amongst the carp. Happy days, get some photos and get her back. Yeah, happy days. Early morning by for Dyer. Put a rod down in the right hand corner this morning. Just ripped off. Right, we come back to it when we got it on the bank. Right, uh, just sorting out uh, a couple of Carl's rods. Uh, and my right hand rod that I moved over this morning, over to the spot down on the right, is uh, just ripped off. Uh, if you'll let me get her out, I'll show you what it is. 36 pound 12 common. There we go. First fish in the morning. Number three for me, my biggest of the trip so far. Good work. Buzzing again. Right, second fish of the morning for us, 25 pound bang on. From my far go-to spot, also lost one off that spot to a hook pull. Um, seems like things are picking up with a couple of big ones in the night as well. Let's get this on back and get the rod back out. Spot on, nice. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, Tuesday afternoon now. Almost approaching halfway through the trip. Yeah. Uh, thought we'd give another quick update of what's happened since the last update, almost 24 hours ago now. Um, it's improved, 100%. Hasn't it? Yeah. 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 Much more productive last night through the morning. Yeah. So early evening yesterday it started your side. Yeah. And a couple of small cats again. For them. Yeah, you're getting a bit frustrated. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Um, I was getting towards darkness and um, 
just sitting here and just saying to die that something weren't feeling right. Like, it was looking different out there. So I thought I'm gonna go have a quick look around. So I went round on the bike, up the right hand bank. So I weren't feeling like there was any up in the far corner. And I, I couldn't really see anything at all when I got up there. So I went around behind the trees, gave myself a different angle than I could see clearly all the way down the right hand margin. That was just a lot of fish just holding up down the margin for the first time this week. So bike straight back round, said to die. He went and had a quick look as well. So like, yeah, so we um, decided to get a couple of rods on that. Bought two in. Stuck one. Quarter of the way up, maybe two rod lengths off. And one further up towards the tree, probably. That was still quite far off. Yeah, that one. Open water, but where we could still see fish, and so a couple of new spots really for us. Um, got to half eleven last night, something like that. Yeah. Um, had a run into what felt like a big fish. Landed that. That was a forty-five pound eight common. Obviously happy with that big fish of the trip so far. Second forty for myself. That's on the closest rod caught the way up the bank. Um, we've been discussing in the evening about starting to share rods. We'd always said, haven't we, by yeah, day three? Yeah, if one side was doing more than what the other was, we'd, um, we'd share rods. Yeah, so after that fish, we were like, well, what's our next? Yeah. And what went long was it? Yeah. Less than an hour? Yeah. yeah, less than an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Same spot. I ripped off. Uh, 34 2 common. That's my second car for the trip. Yeah, so that's good. Then this morning, you moved one of your left hand rods. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, moved it over. What? There's a little gap in the bushes just to the side of the swim. So put it in there. Yeah. Where'd you put it? Just off that tree, just. As it comes round, not too far up the right hand side margin, it's got a tree poking out. We tried there, you, you'd put a, a rod there, didn't you, the other day when we didn't have our bait boat? Yeah, when we were just charging. Charging the battery. Yeah. And uh, you noticed fish there before, so yeah, I just put it there, probably half a rod length off the tree to the left hand side of it. And uh, it wasn't that bit long even, was it? Well, that one? No, no, it's been like an hour. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then what's that? That was my biggest of the trip. 36, 12, another common. Yeah, then, again, not long after that, probably 30 minutes, my hot rod ripped off, hooked into that, was playing it for a few minutes, probably gained, I don't know, 30, 40 yards on it, and then I just hook pulled. Obviously, a little bit frustrated at the time, but come around, got the boat loaded up again, straight back out. Um, you went off for a shower, didn't you? Yeah. And within half hour, it had gone off again. And so I've got that in that, just a small little mirror, 25 pounds, but obviously very welcome. Um, and that's where we're up to, really. It's just got hotter and hotter as the day's gone on. Yeah, not so much today, have we? It's been no, you've just been for just been a long there. walk around the yeah. lake. I made some rigs. And um, yeah, he said we've not seen much, but we didn't really see too much yesterday. Yeah, it's very similar. Very similar, same sort of pattern. Isn't it? Yeah. We've had the big breeze going all the way across us all day, same as yesterday. So we're hoping for it to stick and then to be all held up along the far bank, the right hand side bank again this evening. The wind's better die down in the next couple of hours, then the sea boat's blowing all over the show. Yeah, so see so what happens, keep you updated. We have been using a bait boat come to this lake, I don't think you can really fish it without a bait boat, because you have to get under the trees on the far bank. You can hire bait boats from here, I believe, so 140 euros for the week. We had originally text Mark the bailiff and said we were wanting to buy and um, hire a bait boat, and then just saw some pop up online about this bait boat, read a few reviews on it, and we decided just to go halves on it, didn't we? Yeah. 240 pounds. Um, it's a Boatman Basic, I think it's M4K 
i compass model apparently it holds about 1.5 kilo it's got a hopper in the middle and a hopper at the back i'd say it probably holds a kilo Two max weeks, yeah um fill the front hopper up front hopper up half a particle half a boilies and then just some boilies in the back back hopper you put particle in the back hopper they seem to tend to just stick to it yeah they? it doesn't really come out it's a bit of a slope on that one. Um, I would highly recommend the boat. We are going to do a review on it at some point, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. And when we get that uploaded, we will probably add it in the description of this video. Um, but I think it's done us great. Yeah, for the money, you know, for some of the bait boats cost. Yeah. What you need. Yeah, it hasn't got GPS or anything like that. No, if you've got GPS, it would make life easier. We are working. Yeah. As a team, getting the boats out, whoever's putting the boat out, the other going around. Yeah, around I think we've mentioned this before, but it's hard to tell if you're under the trees or not from this distance. Yeah, yeah. But for, the, for the price of it, you can't fault it really. No, we can't fault it. And we will use it again in the UK, no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I would recommend them. There's plenty of reviews on YouTube of them already, but didn't really find any reviews of people using it in France or how to really use it, just people saying what they thought of it. So we will do a proper in-depth one on this lake over the next couple of days. And yeah, it's about it really, isn't it? Yeah, that's where we're at. Yeah. So we're just sitting back relaxing, dinner's in about an hour. Pizza tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we are taking it in turns with the lake next to us to collect the food. So we collect your breakfast, so they will collect dinner. So all we've got to do really is to sit back, watch the water, relax. Catch some carp. Catch some carp. I think we're going to have a productive evening. Yeah. I do. So one way to find out. If we do, you will see it. As you would have seen all the other carp we've caught over the last 24 hours. Right guys, evening update. Not much to report really. Um, sun finally went away. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wind finally died down an hour ago. So we were finally able to start locating the carp after multiple laps today we've both been going around constantly yeah just been no signs of life all day but yep start to find them early evening and they were where they were last night so we've got a rods in exactly the same position as last night hopefully we can pick up another or well, at least another four fish like we did last night yeah we've lost a couple haven't we we have lost a couple since we're yeah. a bit spicy though with cats yeah um yeah, similar bites to the cats we had the other night, weren't they? Yeah. So. yeah, that time of day as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's diced, fish next. So, um, just wait for that, ain't you? Yeah, fingers yeah. crossed. We so now we're all settled for the night. Before we're going to sit back and open another bottle of rum. <laughs> bottle another of rum. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rum that I bought. It's called Chairman's Reserve. We haven't even seen it yet, have we? No. No. Very nice. Looks good. Yeah, it's a St. Lucian camo coloured. <laughs> this rum is used to, to steep Caribbean fruits, bark and spices and contains cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, clove, bitter orange and other natural ingredients to give it a glorious and authentic St. Lucian spiced rum experience. Sounds good. Okay, go and give it a try. Absolutely. It's my glass. Where's yours? You smashed uh, that mine's, today, didn't you? Mine's in there. That wasn't because I was drunk. It's because <laughs> I was trying to move a table by myself. By myself with loads of glass on. <laughs> so I've got a plastic one. Better for people like me. It smells very strong. It smells quite nice though. Completely different to the one we had. Yeah, we have one I brought. Put a bit in them to wipe the coat, can't we? Got my England cricket cup from when I went to watch the Ashes in the summer. It's warm. It is warm, isn't it? <laughs> I've been sat in the bivvy. I was say, where's that one? Been sat. <laughs> been sat in the bivvy. Let's add some cold coke to it. Yeah. First, um, thought so, it tastes too bad at all. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, 
Tasty orange. Mm. Not so vanilla as the other one. No, you can definitely taste the orange. Taste the same one. I think that's quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the best one we've had this. Yeah, trip. I think it's definitely better than the. Uh... Although your rum got better the more we drank it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the rum getting better or the last getting drunk? <laughs> I don't know. Bit of both. It did go fairly quickly in the end. Yeah. No, that's nice. I like that. What'd you give it? What'd I give the one I bought eight, I think? Yeah. I think we both said eight. Yeah. I wouldn't give it much higher. No. 8.5 if we do points or nine. Yeah. Eight. Again, eight or nine, I reckon. Yeah. No, it's nice. Well, anyone else have any random rums that they want us to rate? Then um, let us know. Yeah. Well, we're going to sit back, relax, watch the water till it gets dark, and try and get an early night tonight. I think, isn't it? Yes. Ready for a night full of action. Hopefully. Yeah. They're all, they're all down this right side. Yeah, pretty much the same as yesterday. Yeah. The only shows we've seen is down there, plenty of bubbling, a couple of carp seen. Yeah, lost two were lost, one off where I had one earlier, off the tree down here, lost that. And then one back on your hot spot. Yeah. So, yeah, fingers crossed. It's another eventful night. Uh, it's fishing, more, eh? Yeah, we'll have a couple more carbs to show. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, <laughs> as you see, it's had a fish. Lovely little mirror. Is it 30... 33. 33, 8. I've already forgotten. Half ten in the evening. Absolute one toner, weren't it? Yeah. Come off the same spot as we had a couple last night. Can't hold it. Let's try that again. Nicely one. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> There we go, there she is. Nice one. Hopefully the first of a few this evening. Brilliant fight. Yeah, had we had a cat on at the same time as well, yeah, didn't we, on one of the other rods? <laughs> cat on the other rod as well. A little cat, again. Got rid of that pretty quickly. Yeah, and then after this beautiful creature. All right, let's get some photos and get a bit. All right, three o'clock in the morning. Got a 29 pound four ounce here. It has beat us up, it took us all over the place. Worked out two rods for an eventful night. We've had three cats, including one of the big ones that snagged us up multiple times. It was on for about an hour, lost that in the end, wasn't fussed. <laughs> um, glad to finally have another carp on the bank. So, get some quick photos and get her back. Well, after a manic night, Five minutes back on the car's main spot and this 46.2 common ripped off new PV over the moon so made up I'm going home a happy chappy so uh, what are we half nine we've got no rods in the water this just went off about half an hour ago Crazy night, crazy night. We'll go crazy. through that. Go through that later. <laughs> crazy eight hours, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah, thirty-seven twelve. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Coming off the. Right hand spot, one beep, lifted into it, thought it was a cat to begin with, no fight, as soon as I brought it in closer it ripped off, and yeah, beautiful fish.
hopefully a busy day ahead. Yeah. Right, let's get some photos and get her back. Photos and sort out six rods. Right lads, quick afternoon update from manic evening last night. Um, you had an early cat, didn't you, on the left side where there's been no carp. Yeah. No cats. Yeah, usual. Had an early night, didn't we? Went to bed tennish, chilling the baby like you do for a bit. Um, and from 11 onwards, it was basically between 11 and 5, didn't sleep. When it started off, you had a fish quite sharpish, didn't you? Yeah, I had a, I had a carp. It was 33.8? Yeah. 33.8, yeah. That's yeah, probably it 11 o'clock ish. Yeah, it was around there, mine, it weren't in bed long. Um, half hour later, no, at the same time as that, we had a little cat. And then half hour later, I hooked into a big cat. That was on for at least an hour. Yeah, if not um, longer. Yeah, if not longer. Basically, hooked into it down this right, but there's loads of snags. Um, playing it for a bit, probably a good 10 minutes. Took me in the snags, um, slackened everything off, sat down, didn't we, for a good 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Finally, it came out, and we let it go, just let it run. And it seemed like it'd come out loads. Hooked back into it, playing it again, just couldn't control it. Straight back in there. Right, gave it another 15 minutes. Slacked all off. Still nothing. I said to you, I said you might as well just go back to bed and I'll hang about. Yeah. So about another 20 minutes passed. Yeah, it finally came out. Playing it again. Oh, I thought I was starting to gain on it this time. Thought it must be getting tired. And then off it went. And it was so close to the snags and I was literally holding spool as tight as I could, weren't, weren't giving it anything, thought I'd rather lose it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> and that's kind of what happened, it pulled out, barbless rule here, so that's alright. And um, yeah, put that back, well, read on the rod, I think then another cat, and then I finally hooked into a carp not long after that, which was £29.4 mirror. Oh, lovely, I can get some sleep now. It's down to the dyer's run. Redone the rods. <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Five minutes max, weren't it? Put it back on the spot. I think I got back into my bivvy. Oh, I don't think you did get back to your bivvy. You were standing up here. Was I? Yeah. I see, I can't remember. So much happened last night. Yeah. And then I'll let you take over. Yeah. That, uh, that ran off. Um, not the biggest of fight, came in quite easily, didn't it? And yeah, uh, yeah as you would have seen, that was my uh, my new PB. It was a 40, 46 2 common, lovely fish, it's immaculate. Lovely. Yeah, it was really nice, over the moon for that. As soon as we saw it in the water, we knew it was a big one, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, we thought that it might even have been touching 50, didn't it? Yeah, it was big. in the net, it looked like the biggest fish we've had this week in the sling. It was long, stunning, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I went 46. Yeah. But you're still happy with that. <laughs> oh, Christy, if I, go, if I, I don't catch anything else, I'm going home, happy man. Without a shadow of a doubt. So we've had three 40s now 42, 12, 45, 8, and your 46, 2. Um, so yeah, that's back to me after that. I think I had another cat. Um, in the end, we stopped putting the rods out. I think we left with two rods out by the time we went to bed at five. Um, yeah. Got up this morning, probably half eight-ish. I was knackered. I was, I was dying, I'm gonna go for a shower. I said, fish, go, you can have the next one. And then I'll just have the next two. And that's what happened. <laughs> that, yeah, first one of the rods went off, another small cat, I brought that in. And then maybe 10, 15 minutes later, the last rod in there, that went off. Uh, and that was a 3712 uh, mirror, and that left us with uh, no rods left in the water. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we had a. So we got everything back out, didn't we? And yeah. then we had to charge our boat. Charge the boat, batteries. Yeah, so we spent a couple of hours then just getting everything redone and re back out. Yeah, and then we just chilled out this afternoon, really. Yeah. Been quiet, it's hot. And then um, just waiting for the next fish on the bank. We're. Gonna get our boat charged back in a minute. Redo a couple of the rods because 
like I think I said previously, the bottom baits do seem to go soft and get chewed by the nuisance fish. fish. Yeah, they're not last than three or four hours. No, they've no, been out now, so we need to redo them. So yeah, we can do that shortly, and then we might go through our bait quickly. Yeah, a little rundown of what we're using, what we're doing. Yeah, and then um, dinner tonight, I think it's pie and chips. Pie chips, something like that, pie mash, might be pie mash, like that. Yeah. Like that. So, looking forward to that. And yeah, probably an early night. I was gonna say, <laughs> try and get an actual early night tonight because the weather's been exactly the same last three days boiling hot, same wind, all the way down to the right bank. Seen no fish all day, and then as soon as the wind stops early evening, they're all along that bank again. Yeah. So, all our fish the last two nights come off the same spot with the odd one picked up on the hot spot. Actually, your big one was off the hot spot. Yeah, that was off that, wasn't it? Yeah. Literally five minutes out on there. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that's that really. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, not much really else to go through at the minute. Um, so hopefully next time you see us, we'll be with fish on the bank. If not, we'll show you our bait and approach and everything. And then we'll go from there. Right, early evening bite. Rod's only been out 15 minutes on a new spot to show him fish. Um, 31 pounds, six ounces. Lively one since we're out of wind, which is calmed down now. So we're just gonna take a couple of quick photos and get back. Right, early evening, second fish of the night for myself, after I was due two in a row. Um, 43 pound, 12 ounces. Absolute one toner from the far bank. Didn't get many of them from the far bank. Um, good fight, kept trying to take me all over the place, took me in the reeds on my right, but we got her out, and there she is. A few photos, we'll get her back. Happy days. <laughs> Well, welcome back. It's uh, not long since we last talked to you. Uh, put the uh, rod back out on the same spot that Carl had his earlier from. <laughs> uh, yeah, what are we talking? 15 minutes later? Not even that, I don't feel that. like. Yeah. 10, 15 minutes later. One toner ripped off again. And ended up catching this lovely mirror. 32, 32.6. Uh, nice fight. Took me down the right hand side. No real dramas. I actually think it might be a recapture. Yes, it might be one that Carl earlier in the week. I think on day one. Yeah, we'll uh, check back through the photos and check on that. But, um, yeah, made up. Eight fish now. So, yeah, happy days. Three fish in now and a half. Yeah, we'll get some uh, photos and take get her back in. Right, just after half two in the morning. Not long than I took, I expected it to take after an early evening of action. But 37 pounder, welcome to the bank. I'm happy with that. Back over to Dyer. Let's get her back. Nice. Okay. Alright, after a little gap in between fish. Uh, just put the rod back on the spot off the cars. Uh, another strange take, just a couple of one beeps. Uh, and this 31 pound Skady mirror came in fairly easy. Stunning looking carp, not the biggest, but yeah. Can they look like that, mate? Doesn't matter, does it? Nope. Yeah, really welcome. Absolutely. Happy days. Five tonight, more to come, hopefully. Yeah. Some photos, I'll get this beautiful fish back. Right, here we are. Fish number six for tonight. Rod, literally back on the minute, three minutes. Back on the minute, back on the money for three minutes. Ripped off. Oh, I can't believe it. Mental. Literally, that's three fish off that one spot in such quick succession. 
Um, 37 pound bang on again, that's two in a row for this nice long comment. Oh, happy days. Some photos and get her back. Nice one, what gun. Yeah. Warning, um, Thursday morning now, six quick fish, well, six fish last night, you would have seen them. And um, Dyer's just had one, 17 pound, put that back. It was then about putting it back in the water and another rod ripped off. But this little mirror, 27 pound. Another little stunner. Things are going well. Picked up big time. Let's hope it continues. And off she goes. Nice one. Happy days.